so yeah, I'm going to talk about Marinette, which is a European project. And what I'm going to talk about today is the aspect where you can get free access to test facilities around Europe. So what is Marinette? Well, it stands for Marine Renewables Infrastructure Network. Uh, it's essentially a network of the European test facilities uh, in marine renewable energy research around Europe. So that covers wave energy, tidal energy, and offshore wind energy. And essentially, these research centers have world-class uh, infrastructures for testing at all scales, from concept scale right up to offshore test sites and facilities like FlowWave that we've just seen. So it's a European EC FP7 initiative. And the whole idea behind it, the purpose of the EC uh, um, drive behind this is to optimize uh, the use and the benefit of these facilities. So just a couple of numbers, um, it's 12 countries involved in the, in the partnership, 29 uh, research institutions, and they have 45 facilities between them. The project runs from 2011 to 2015, so we're about halfway through at the moment. It's an 11 million euro program, 9 million of which is funded from the EC. Um, who's involved? Well, there's 29 partners, as I said. Um, they're based well around Europe, as you can see there. Um, all of the main test facilities, all of the recognizable names are in there, and they're covering every aspect of marine renewable energy testing. Um, those numbers in brackets beside the, the names of the facilities are the, the number of infrastructures that each facility has. So, for example, in DTU in Denmark, they have six facilities, etc. It's coordinated by Beaufort Research, which is where I'm based uh, in Cork. Um, what are we doing in Marinette? Well, there's two aspects to it. The first one is joint research, um, essentially streamlining the capabilities of these test facilities. So in practical terms, what we're doing is we're standardizing the testing, uh, we're conducting research to improve those infrastructures and the technologies and the techniques um, that are carried out in the facilities. We're providing courses uh, for the general public, so if anybody's interested in doing courses in marine renewable energy testing, there's free courses offered by Marinette. There's one just held in EMEC, uh, which finished yesterday, I think. Uh, and we're doing staff exchange then between the facilities to, um, to transfer the knowledge and expertise between the facilities so it's a, it's a lot more of a standardized process. But what, I, what I'm talking to you about today is the free access aspect of uh, Marinet. So these infrastructures are offering free access to uh, companies and research groups to come to, to, the, to the test facilities and instead of paying the normal commercial rates, the European Commission will pay for that instead. Why would they do that? It's basically to facilitate access to unique infrastructures which are, which are outside of the country that you're based in. So normally there's, a normal, there's national test or national funding programs to use infrastructures in your own country, but to go to a different country where there might be a unique facility, it's a bit harder. So the European Commission are funding this and facilitating it um, and obviously reducing the cost barrier. If you're a small SME and you need to go to a facility that costs you know, tens of thousands a week, uh, it's, a, it's, it's obviously impossible. So the European Commission uh, are facilitating this. We've, we've split out the uh, infrastructures into different categories, wave, tidal, offshore wind, and cross-cutting. Um, as I say, the facility costs can be very significant, and it's open to everybody. Um, two conditions, the visiting group must be based in the EC, um, and you have to access a facility which is outside of your, your main country of work. So I'm going to run through the facilities quickly here. Um, if you blink, you're going to miss one or two of them. But I'm running through, first of all, the wave facilities here. These are the small scale facilities for concept testing. Um, and then running into the larger scale facilities. Um, the, this insane tank, for example, in Italy is a larger scale facility, as is the tank in, in Nantes, where you can get uh, larger wave heights. Um, the Plymouth new facility has just been added to Marinette, as has FlowWave that we've just seen. Um, the, moving into then, I suppose, the, the larger scale wave energy test facilities like NARIC, and then the offshore test sites such as that in Alberg and EMEC uh, and Galway Bay, and then moving in into the, the full scale test sites at Biscay and in Belmullet off the west coast of Ireland. Um, in the from the tidal point of view, um, there's a full range of facilities. Uh, there's wind tunnel facilities for testing, I suppose, the early stage concepts in tidal energy, uh, and then moving into the flumes. So there's a full range of flumes at small scale, medium scale, and facilities such as this in Denover uh, for the uh, real sea test um, testing of tidal energy devices. 
then moving into the offshore wind types of facilities and the environmental data. Uh, there's a lot of test facilities that have gathered data and provide interpretation services of that data. Normally you have to pay for that. These facilities are also included in Marinet uh, as our standard offshore wind uh, test facilities. Um, a lot of this is based in the, the northern European regions. Um, we also have electrical test facilities. So uh, for all of the electrical aspects that we heard about earlier, uh, there's big, either small or big facilities uh, for testing various scales of, uh, of electrical uh, equipment. Um, and then moving into the, uh, the cross-cutting facilities, uh, these are uh, oscillating water column uh, plants for testing turbines associated with those technologies. Uh, and then into the corrosion testing, mechanical test facilities, uh, fatigue testing, mooring testing, uh, both in labs such as this and in real sea test sites uh, like this in Exeter and the corrosion testing at Fraunhofer. Uh, so that was just a whistle stop tour, but it gives you an idea of the range of facilities that are available within Marnet. You can basically do every type of testing that you would need to do for marine energy uh, development. How can you get this access? There's calls that we operate um, on a regular basis, um, and those calls are for set periods, so they might be six months or a year that you have to carry out your testing within that time frame. Thanks. There's a website which is the main portal to, uh, to access and to, to make an application. Um, those applications are evaluated by experts. You, you conduct the testing if your application is successful, then you write a short public report. IP is fully protected, so there's no issues around IP. Um, and then you publicize the benefit of Marnet. So it, it's really quite a simple process, and that's what we wanted. That was our intention from the very start. We, uh, we implement this structured development plan. If you can show that you're following this structured development plan, your application is a very good chance of getting through. If you have no idea about this, then it doesn't. We follow this as an industry standard. Everybody should be following it. Um, we standardize the, des the descriptions on the website. Uh, we give a table to try and narrow down what kind of facilities you're, you're looking at, whether it be wave, tidal, small scale, large scale, etc. Um, just a couple of examples, just to give you an idea. This is a small company, OWL. They were doing concept testing at uh, the facility where I work in, in Beaufort Research in, uh, in Ireland. Two weeks testing at that facility, um, they were doing performance testing. And then the other, of, other end of the scale, large scale testing at NARIC. This was Smart Motor, a Norwegian company, and they were testing with Atlantis Resources. They did three weeks at NARIC, funded by Marnet, and they did 10 weeks overall. Um, and they were at stage three, technology readiness level five and six, uh, and they were doing performance testing of their turbine on this large electrical rig that NARIC had just commissioned. These are other, um, other types of tests, but we've had lots of applications to Marnet. Three calls completed so far, 180 applications, about a 70% success rate. So as I say, there's a good chance of getting through if you can show that you know what you're doing. Um, the next call is open in July 2013. It's a targeted call for offshore wind and cross-cutting facilities. Um, the next full call for all of the facilities in Marinette is open in October 2013, and that's for testing throughout uh, the year of 2014. I have a guide to transnational access with me here if anybody wants copies. Uh, obviously, the website is also the main place to go. Um, they're the contact details. Website is the main, main portal, as I say, all of the application process is done through that. So, thank you very much.